Reservation Blues. You're a rich white guy. What the hell would you know about any of this? If the federal government and white European education and organized religion, I'm not talking about Christianity now. I'm talking about organized religion, work day in and day out to strip us of our language, our culture, our traditions. Historical trauma? Um, honestly, this is the first I've ever heard the term. We have to live with it. We have to walk past it by every day. We have to sleep where we can, we can see the bullet holes. So historical trauma, um, the first thing I'd say about it is it means a lot of different things. I mean, how does it affect us? You know, we're people that today suffer from everything you don't want to suffer from. This insult is a door to racism. And all the people around over there, the landowners, spitting on us, calling us timber niggers. Timber niggers. We're human beings. We're the original people here. We know that if we were solid in our, our, in our ways and pray hard, do our rituals, that all these good things will come back to our people again, and you're going to see us smiling more often, working harder, taking care of our families and our children, providing. But the really true way to stop it is for non-natives to understand historical trauma. Have you ever seen your homie come to school with a gun? Have you ever had a gun loaded it with one bullet? Put it to your temple, it was really but the bullet. Then you thought about your niece was like a daughter to you. Then you thought of what your mother and your father would do. Welcome to the motherland where suicide comes off.